Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're returning. If you're new here, my name is Tori. I have water right here. Okay. I have been very sick lately. Um, so I need to update my planners and I have been attempting to do so for like the majority of the day today, but I still need to um, switch over into some new uh, rings and I figured I might as well kind of have a spring planner reflesh, ref reflesh, okay, refresh <laughs> um, with you all. I encourage you to grab some snacks, um, a drink, grab your planner, plan with me if you feel like it. I'm happy to have you here and it's going to be like a full redo because I haven't, I was looking at my weeklies and my rings. I do carry it with me every day because it also serves as my wallet, but I have not used my rings as a functional planner since February the 10th. It is now March the 2nd as of the day I'm filming this. So I need to just go ahead and archive everything that I am no longer using um, and kind of update you all. I don't need to, but I, was, I want to, you know, so um, there, uh, <laughs> things have been happening. in that the week okay let me just let me just pull out so this is my system right now this is a personal rings a print pression personal rings planner um print pression has i don't know if the liquidation sale is still going on um i've heard people say it's going out of business i'm in denial because i watched his video and he's like this there will be a new chapter we will be back and i'm like Yes, you will, boo. <laughs> um, but basically, he had to liquidate all his um, stock in order to kind of get out of the red. So, if you're interested, that's happening most likely still. I'll put it on the screen if it's not. But, um, so I shopped that sale and grabbed, like, a, I think a pack of dividers as well as um, a cover that I want to transfer into, but I shopped that sale and then I watched, um, Simone off of Planner Coven, so I'll put her info here. Um, she was showing that she had actually, uh, at the time that I was watching her video, she was talking about how there was actually a pretty decent sale, not really a sale, because it wasn't marketed as a sale. Some prices were just slashed on, Filofax's Amazon storefront. So I went over there and I ended up purchasing my Grail planner, if that's a thing. Are Grail planners a thing? I think they are because this is the planner I've always wanted. But I'm just not in the mood for it, ironically. Like, I purchased this Filofax. It is seriously the planner I have always dreamed of. I get it in my hands and I'm not... It doesn't feel like the right time to be in them. And I think it's like my brain sees this and it's like, okay, that's a fall vibe situation. Like even summer kind of situation. Summer into fall. But for now, I, I'm i looking for something a little lighter, a little springy. Because I've been in the black for so long. But another thing is, I purchased these and it came... Um, so, this, I, if you don't know what this is, then this is the Filofax Malden. Um, it came with a little bit of imperfection, so you can see, like, that came as is, and I did contact Filofax, and they are like, oh, you'll have to contact Amazon, and Amazon's not gonna do anything, it's not worth it, I spent, um, like, almost $100 on this Malden, it was like I think ninety eight dollars, which is pretty pretty cheap. Um, I think Apple Bomb is like the only other store that I've ever seen have Filofaxes under a hundred dollars. Uh, maybe I'm just not looking at the right stores, but the uh, the like Filofax models that I like are usually the more expensive ones. Um, 
because the more basic ones don't have enough pockets, in my opinion, to function the way I'd like it to. But essentially, um, I purchased this with a gift card my mom got me. So she gave me a $100 gift card for Christmas. That was my Christmas present. I was told to purchase something I wanted, not that I needed. And so I did not spend any of my own money on this. And I, if I had, I think we would be looking at this purchase a lot longer down the road. Um, so, but yeah, I bought it. It came with like these little imperfections up here on the seam and it kind of gave me a bad vibe. Like it gave me, I don't know. I love it and I'm not going to return it. I'm not going to like go through the Amazon crap shoot to try to get a planner that doesn't have that because it's not, that's not worth going through all the steps and that's how they get us, right? Like that's how they give us the product that they do. Anyways, so I also have like the file of facts guts that came with the planner um, here that I kind of want to see what I can add in. Um, it's got its own dividers and it came with a 2024 planner. So it has like horizontal weeklies in it. And I'm thinking I may start using these just because they're here. I might as well use them. Um, but instead of using that file of facts, I think what I'm going to do is move into this um, print impressions rings I would need to I'll put what what like I'll look back in the um order in my email after I get done and I'm in editing mode because I cannot tell you for the life of me um what this is right now and I don't even know if there are any left but this is showing like on the on the order it showed a lot lighter and I was really pleasantly surprised with what it looks like in person. I wasn't expecting it to look so patinaed, if that's the word, or so used in a nice way, if that makes sense. It does not have the back pocket like this model does, um, but I'm okay with that because, again, like I said, I have not actually been functionally using my rings since February the 10th, so I'm okay with um, not, not having, like, a huge back pocket, though the back pocket on this one does make it, like, squishier, and I do like that, but at the end of the day, I just need a planner that works, and I think this is the perfect vibe, the mood for me right now, so we're going to spend however long it takes me to kind of move into this planner today, um, because I just, I'm just, I need to get out of this planner. This rings has just been flopping around and not serving a purpose for a hot minute since I've been sick. So I did get a planner monkey co order and that's what this pen is. A magnetic pen. It just says dead inside and, but caffeinated, which yes, a hundred percent. So I'm going to put that back there, but for now we're going to go in the middle and start pulling stuff out that I don't necessarily want because I really do want this to be as much of a refresh as possible. Um, I, I don't have a problem with the way my planner is set up right now, but I think everybody deserves like a, a switcheroo every now and again. Um, so, I mean, it's not going to be drastic changes, obviously, but... I still want to kind of switch some things up. Um, so this is just a blank piece of paper that's beat up. So I'm not going to put it back in my planner. These, I need to redo this insert to be honest. If you look at the rings, like, or the, the, the hole punches, it's just tragic. So I'm going to set that to the side. I really don't look at this. So I'm putting those out. Um, more paper that's just banged up and I don't use it. Um, a dashboard. I think I will keep that one. I like the message. Um, 
Let's see. Notes, notes, notes. Hmm. We'll keep that. I want to rewrite this, if I'm being honest. So we'll do that. We'll keep that. Okay. We've got to keep Wes in there, right? And these are the YouTube, um, it's not a YouTube insert. It's a checklist insert from Puffin Pages Co. And it's how I keep track of all of my YouTube videos. I need to update that. Um, this is personal info. So let me see. Excuse my creaky chair here. Yeah, we'll keep that. Um, I think I'm gonna finally pull these out. So these are Hey Planner Girl uh, dashboards that were for free. I'm sure you can still find them for free. And they're more for like winter, Christmas dashboards. And I printed them on vellum. Just gonna set those to the side. Um, keeping the therapy notes for sure. Uh, pulling out the one used, no, the two used in my feelings inserts. I need to do a better job of like separating what needs to be archived and what isn't going to be archived. So let me do that real quick. Um, sorry if you can hear my dogs. They do not care about what I am doing. They are here to let people know that they are the kings of the household. So I haven't really been, um, I don't know. I haven't been referencing these a lot. And this dashboard, I think I'm going to pull out. I think I might keep these in, but I'm just not referencing them. So that's kind of like a, um, a to be determined that divider and I did order dividers from uh print pression so these are the dividers that I got from print pression they are also clear and they have a bit bigger tab obviously than what I'm currently working with but these honestly have not been giving me any issues and I don't mind the simplicity of them if I'm being honest so that is like the the me brainstorming about how I want to change our living room. We'll keep this stuff. Let's see what is this. We'll take this out. Let's see the reading challenges. I'm gonna take this dashboard out. Um, I'm gonna take this out. I don't use it in. It's needed to be taken out for a while now. This was me trying to figure out how I want to rearrange my bookshelves eventually. And then this is... Y'all, I rewrote these like five times. Oh my gosh. Um, but these are like the current... The book challenges that I'm following from various organizations. I want to keep that dashboard. Um, I'm going to take out the Annalita Designs books insert because I reprinted them... I repurchased it. Bleh. Can I speak? I obviously haven't done this in a hot minute, if you can't tell. Um, I repurchased these in the personal size, so I'm going to put the personal size ones in my planner. This is A5 shrunk down to almost like a pocket size. Um, so I purchased the A5 size of this uh, reader's pack. Um, when I was in an A5 ring, it's like a while ago. And it's for everyone who asks, um, it's Anna Lita Designs. That's what it looks like. If you search it on Inst Instagram, Etsy, well, I'm sure Instagram too, but Etsy is where I purchased them. And I just went ahead and purchased the personal ones. So I'm going to set those in their own spot for now. Um, let's see, this is the Throne of Glass reading guide, more series. I think I want to rewrite these. They just don't look cute to me. So everything that I'm going to redo, I'm putting it as like its own pile. Um, 
because duh. Uh, so there, more book tracker inserts here, the fan art, um, I'll keep this one, and then the library books inserts, the reading, um, and then more dashboards, reading section, Let's see what else we have. Growth, the process, spoke to log, appointment log, pet info. Don't need this one in here. Oh, I'll need to take those off. And then we have the quarterly and the monthly habit trackers. Okay, so that's that half which I'm not putting in the rings just yet because I'm still like just going through and seeing what all is in my rings. Okay, so these are the weekly inserts that I keep kind of clipped together. And then we're going backwards into dailies. This is February the 15th, February the 14th. I thought that was cute. Um, let me take the daily tab off, 13th and the 12th, so I'll be archiving those. Friday the 9th had good intentions, but we never filled it out, so that's, that's Thursday the 8th, Wednesday the 7th, um, Monday the 5th, and Tuesday the 6th, so that is... And then this is uh, Friday the 2nd. Archiving those. Gonna pull this one out. Again, still part of that Hey Planner Girl pack. Um, that's just more Christmassy than anything. Task reminders we'll keep. We will keep the inboxes. These are where the weeklies start. And if you're noticing, I'm going backwards. So... We're getting closer to the front of the planner at this point. Not much has changed. Like I said, I haven't touched this planner. Um, but this is like my favorite Kina Prince insert. And I just used some of the uh, Shine Sticker Studio subscription kit. Um, I think from November. Some of those stickers in here. And then, so this was January the 29th through February the 4th. And then this is... Um, February the 5th through February the 11th here. Gonna archive this. And then crazy mess up on how I printed these, but that's okay. I finally figured out playing with B, how to print the way I like it. So this is February the 12th through the 18th in a very wonky way. But I just put more of the Shine Sticker Studio subscription kit stickers. These are from January to prep for February. Archiving that. Um, and then just a picture of my dog. This I have to keep in here. This is like one of the most important inserts I have in my planner. It is a three-month holdout from Paper Test Designs and Elle's Essentials collab. So if you're looking for... Um, future planning stuff, I highly recommend that bundle. It is so helpful for me. Definitely recommend it. Um, then we have monthlies in here, but I need to take out February's monthly. So this was February's monthly and a lot of it just kind of went by the wayside on that last couple weeks because of how sick I was. Um, we're going to keep this monthly cover page in. I like the way I did this, so I'm going to keep it. I, like, if you saw a February flip, you will have seen me talk about how I added these in. Um, like, quotes about love from my favorite black writers for, you know, Valentine's Day and Black History Month. And I just like the way this one turned out a lot. I think the... Differences in font is really cute. I don't know. I just like it. So I'm keeping it. Um, so we have March's monthly. 
And honestly, I'm probably not going to use this going forward like I think I would have. It's just one more monthly that I don't look at, if I'm being honest. Um, I may try to give it one more try, but like, I don't, I don't know. It's not like essential is what I'm trying to say. Um, taking this one out as well. These are, again, the Hay Planer Girl dashboards. The divider, a Leo thing here. I need to take out pretty much these account registers for, I think, let me check. Yeah, all of these got to come out. And then this is, so February, I'll keep February in here, but we need to, we can take out January. So I'm trying to pull this out without like showing my entire life on here, I guess is what I'm trying to do. Um, it's not going so well, so give me just a moment. Okay, so yeah, that's February. Right? Yeah. We don't need March. Or we don't need January. So I'm going to take these out. And then this one is also cute. I think I'm just a fan of that digital um, font. I like it. Okay. I think I'm going to start a new online purchases one. This one hasn't finished, but I'm over it. <laughs> and it's got like Christmas washi tape on it. So pulling it out. Um, vehicle maintenance. I don't know, y'all. This hasn't been touched in a hot minute. So I think we're going to archive this too. Uh... Still keeping the shops and the freebie tracker. I like that dashboard. Gonna take this one out. What is this? Shopping list. I don't really care for how this one looks. Like this dashboard. So I think I'm gonna take it out. Um, also, I'm I'm just petty. And I'm, I'm like, it doesn't always make my soul crawl out from its hiding place. Sometimes I want to snap at whoever tries to, because I'm, I'm, I'm mean. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to take that out. Um, it's just more shopping lists and grocery ideas there. And then the work section is kind of what's left other than like the front matter stuff. So I'm going to pull this to the side real quick. I do want to rewrite some of this, so I'm going to put it up here. Yeah, I'm going to take some of this. Um, it's just messy because I was writing it during the conference that I was getting the information. So I want to rewrite like a lot of this just so that it looks nicer in my brain, I guess. Um, so let's see... And I'm going to pull this one. No, I'm not. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> okay. Um, so I think, yeah. So now that I've looked through everything that I have here, I can feel a little bit better about getting this together. Um, okay. Now, we're going to... Just work through the front to the back now. And this needs to be highlighted. I haven't been using like those little tiny monthlies that are so popular uh, either because I don't, I, I, it's just aesthetic to me at that point and I just don't, it doesn't serve a purpose other than just one more thing for me to check off so I don't I haven't been using them because it's just it's a lot going on there um okay 
Oh, I'm going to take this one out. I don't need this. This is like a journaling card that I just hole punched from Shine Sticker Studio. So I'll take that one out. And then, so how the front of my planner goes is kind of like be humble, but first coffee, and then the holidays. It's kind of how I like to do it because I think it's funny that it says, you know, be humble. And it gives you this text about humility. And it's like, wait, 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 but first, make sure you're caffeinated. <laughs> Which I just think is funny. All right, so we have the holidays. Um, This is the work divider. I'm going to try to get this back to where I want it. And I don't know what this paper clip is doing. I don't think it likes being like. Okay, there we go. All right, so there are things that I just am going to be keeping. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything in here that I'm keeping. And then we'll go back and rewrite some stuff. I just feel like. You know, a messy planner is what I'm here for, but if it's so messy that I don't even want to look at it, that's kind of not the point. I need a planner that I want to look at so I can get my life together. <laughs> so, um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't think I want to keep this in here either. That image, like, it's cool. And I think it's a great reminder of my grad school, but it's also like a fall image, obviously. So um kind of going to re revisit that, I think. So these are the shops. And I think I have an online orders or online purchases um, insert that I've already printed. And if you could see like the entirety on my desk right now, I'm pretty sure you would have a panic attack, but it'd be like that sometimes. I am all over the place because I'm all over the place. So, let's see. I'm pretty sure I have These are more checklists. Okay. Let's see. Well, I thought I had some online purchases. Um, more inserts, but I do not. So I'll have to print some more of those. But what I'm doing now is putting the deco that I had in this um, plastic bag. And I do wanna pull out this one cause it is spring. Um, and those are both from playing with B, like both of those patterns. Um, yeah, and I'll take that one too. And they're all, those are from, play, from playing with B. Okay, so then I will transfer these wash or washi tapes, goodness, transferring the post-it notes that I have on the backs of some of these that I'm not putting back in here on to here. Eh, this one doesn't have, okay, we'll just do that for now. And then, how do I want to do this? Grocery list. Shopping. Okay, there's always like one divider. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's see what else. I can get the... February in here. And then 
can go in with the Leo dashboard. Okay, and then the planning divider. So do that. Right, and then go in with the three month planner. And then the task reminders. Then we'll do the inbox inserts, the dailies, back to the weeklies that are clipped together with an Ollie clip. Then the habit trackers. I really need to look at these and see what I need to catch up on. <laughs> All right. Um, and then we'll do this Leo one. And then this is spoke to log, appointment log, pet info. So that all, all go back here. And I'm thinking we'll put growth as a process. This is from Mariah plans. Like, can you see that? <laughs> we'll put that at the back of this. So. All right. And then we have the reading section. Um, I'm going to just put the puppos first. Because they're cute. Even though they're not acting cute right now. And I kind of want to strangle them. Alright, so now we'll have library books insert. Um, and then I'm thinking fan art. And then um ugh, okay. Uh and then we'll do the vellum in front of a book tracker insert from Haru Plans. Kind of put these back here. No, I'm like trying to get that in so I'm right set of rings, okay? Another book tracker insert. And then we do the throne of glass reading order. We do the book challenges inserts. Um, we'll just keep that in there for now. This is all of the Agatha Christie books I own, and then the highlighted ones are the ones I've read. So, all three of them. <laughs> uh, Bible in 60 Days insert can stay, along with the Doctrine note. Okay, and then I'm thinking... Uh, we'll put this note back here. And then we'll put um okay, so we'll do kind of like the journaling and the home section next. I think that's what we'll do. Um and then we'll do the uh, journaling guide for processing stuck emotions and an event. These are both from Journaling Home. And then we'll put the affirmations from edarlene.com after that. Um, in my feelings inserts next, I think, is what I'll do. We just have, oh my goodness, just have two left of these, followed by the therapy notes inserts from My Minimal Planner. 
Um, let's see. You'll add a dashboard there because they're not printed correctly. So when I go to turn it, I won't have to look at that immediately. <laughs> All right. And then um, I, I think I'm going to take this extra one out actually. And then we have all of the personal info. Um, I think we'll put Oh, I'm trying to put so this is like passwords, contact information, and my cycle tracker. I'm just not trying to show the world that. So I think what we'll do then um, is... I think I'm going to try to reutilize the notes section for actual notes. Shocker. We'll see. Because I don't, I haven't been using my notes section as a section, if I'm being honest. Just been kind of a dumping ground situation, but I think I need to kind of, um, do a little better on that front and so get all of these we'll put this one at the front because I like it and then the checklist of the YouTube here uh, but you know what I want to put this affirm meh I think that can go in the journaling section actually but um, trying to figure out where did those, well, okay, so that's notes, I guess. All right, these are all empty notes pages. Do y'all remember those inserts I have of, like, the movies, playlists? things I want to watch, but where the heck did I just put that? No idea. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, maybe I shoved them in here somehow. And that's out of order. It's been okay. Put that there. Whoa, too far down. Okay, now I can use put the affirmations one right here. had the drawer pulled out over it. I'm like, what in the world? But I kind of want to put the movies, podcasts one in the back of the reading section because they're all media and my brain says that makes the most sense. All right. So, I have a few pieces of deco here that I still want to put in. And I'm going to try to figure out how to do that. 
and where to do that, but I also want to put in some weeklies and dailies, which, um, yeah, okay, so I have these, I'm gonna see what I can pull out here, we'll try it for March, and see how it goes. Which next week will be March. I'll just go to April. And then, okay, so these ones are what we'll need. And the weekly kind of goes right here. So I'll put that right there and then after the weekly I have all these dailies which is what I use a lot of for like to-do lists and stuff and I have like a full stack of stuff that I printed out for that so this is actually weekly overview from Plan with B but more dailies from perfectionism prints and then some Haru plans dailies I have like a crap ton of like dailies that I printed out because I just have not been, like I said, touching my planner. So I didn't know how much I needed and I'd rather have too much than not enough. So that's kind of what we're doing. And then, um... I'm going to keep the rest of the dailies out for now because I, I don't want to chuck up a planner with unused inserts, if I'm being honest. And then I have some weeklies that I printed, but like I said, I'm going to try those Filofax ones first. The only other thing that I wanted to do was probably update my reading section as well as rewrite a lot of those inserts. So that's what I'm going to do now, but I'll probably speed it up and maybe do a voiceover depending on if I think of something I want to talk to you all about. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's get started.
Okay, so this is everything that I have either replaced, rewritten, or um, I just am no longer referencing in my rings since February 10th. Um, some stuff that I wanted to rewrite, I ended up just not because <laughs> I got tired. But, I mean, that's a fairly sizable chunk, I would say. I literally just... That's how I archive. I don't do anything special. But, um, let me show you how it has turned out. Excuse my desk. Um, I really like the way that print impressions... In, like, it always ends up to me feeling so portable. Um, I don't think there's another brand that I've come across. I Granted, I'm a budget planner. I don't have a Jolio, okay? But I just feel like these are so compact. And I feel like I can just toss them in a bag and go. Um, so that is why I really, really enjoy the print impressions planners and I am sad that they are no longer going to be manufacturing for a while but that's okay so this is what I am carrying into March and it looks fairly the same um not much like structure wise has changed it's just been updated and refreshed so same old same old is happening here with the front matter we have name page from hey planner girl and then dashboards, the holidays at a glance from Playing With B. And then this goes into the work section. This is probably the section that looks the most different just because um, the scribble notes that I was writing in this section were for reference, but I wasn't referencing them because I didn't like to look at them. So I needed to either take them out or rewrite them to where I would want to reference them. So I opted for that um, second option and I use the file of facts, um, notes pages that I received with my Malden and I 10 out of 10 love these way more than the obnoxiously wide spaced Moterm um, notes pages or in you know these notes pages the like standard ones why I haven't seen spacing that wide since I was in grade school um I it's unnecessary to me it makes me irrationally angry to just look at this right now so <laughs> um filofax came in clutch and i used up pretty much most of this cream colored paper i did end up using one other color um because the packet that came with the malden has like multicolored notes pages so i was just writing down all the notes that i had written that were just sloppy and i wasn't able to reference them the way i wanted to um, so I have those written out a lot cleaner now, and I feel like I can go in and find information a lot faster, essentially. So I'm just skipping over people's contact information that I'm not, um, able to share because it's not my information. But basically, um, yeah, I did keep like one page because I wrote those cleanly, um, but everything else kind of got rewritten in this section and I really think it's going to change the way I approach this section and I might end up moving it further to the middle, um, depending on whether I go back and reference this or not. Then we go again into the finance section. Um, so I just, again, have the grocery guides here and shopping lists. I added in some spring dashboards this pattern on the front and back are from plan with b uh they are freebies and then i have freebies tracker like always i have the february finance monthly i need to add in march i just haven't um and then account register inserts from plan with b as well so that's essentially the finance section and i just have this little vellum at the end uh, the planning section holds what I use the most in this planner. It has the month, uh, 
the uh, layout. I, these are from s and Plans. And then the three-month trifold, as well as task reminders. I did add in the um, horizontal weeklies from the file effects inserts that I received. I do have um, a hybrid inbox insert from Plan With Me. I use these mainly when I'm not working at my job and I still want to write down a to-do list, stuff like that. Like I'll use this insert. Um, and then go into the dailies. Uh, a lot of these, so these ones are from Perfectionism Prints. And then we have Simple and Trendy Co. And then my weeklies that I've yet to use are clipped with an Ollie clip. And then I have the Habit Trackers. And have that Leo dashboard again. This is the Spoke To Log, Appointment Log, um, and then Pet Info inserts. And I just added this vellum. I found this artwork on Canva and printed it out. Um, another dashboard at the back. And then we go into the reading section, which, wow, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, and it starts with this bookmark from a bookstore in Jackson, Mississippi. And then I added in all of the Annalita Designs inserts that um, I wanted to use in this section. So I added the reading log insert in here. And then I have the bookshelf insert that I'm using. Um, you may have seen in the sped up section of this video, I did end up losing this. But I was like, I know it didn't go in the trash. So I'll find it. And lo and behold, I did. So I added that in. Um, and I really just like seeing the visual representation of the books I'm reading by their covers. Um, I have library books, inserts from Plan With B, fan art, vellum. These book tracker uh, inserts are from Haru Plans. So I do have some of these. These are more long-term TBR um, titles. And then I also, while I want, I'm keeping these in here and I do like these, like these aren't going away, but I did like the book review situation from the Annalita designs packet because it gives you two different options of two different kinds of reviews, which I'm sure Haru Plans does as well, but this just all came in that bundle that I liked. And so like, this is, if I want to write a longer form review or my thoughts about it versus if I read it, it was okay, but I'm not like raving about it. I just want, you know, information about my notes. Whereas my book or my reading journal is like more long term. I write quotes. I write my, um, like more, the, basically my reading journal is where I get really dorky, like super dorky. I'm talking I'm looking at themes, metaphors, stuff like that. I'm writing down the quotes that stuck out to me, how I had an emotional response to things. Like, I'm getting dorky with it because I have a degree in English and I enjoy doing that. But this is more like off the cuff, I guess. It's not as in depth, but I still want at least some kind of impression of every book that I've read. Like, what did I think of it? You know, I spend so much time reading. I do want to review and kind of like go over, okay, was this a book that was worth my time? And actually going through this and laying out all of the reviews, uh, inserts, y'all, it's not been a good reading year so far is what I'm coming to know. Um, I haven't been like, I think I've read one or two five-star books this entire year. Like, it's not... It's not my fave reading year so far. So um, that has been a point of reflection. And these inserts helped me to see that. <laughs> um, so I am going to fill these out when I feel like it. No hurry on that. Uh, and then I just have a few more here that, you know, are blank. Which that shouldn't be there. trying to do better about opening my rings the right way because I am the one who will pull them the wrong way 
and then get them messed up. So I put that there. So I also had some lists in here that I wanted to rewrite and I did end up rewriting a few of them. Um, but really I just rewrote them so like they could be more, um, what's the word? Visible to me, I guess. So anything that was on those mode term inserts, I rewrote essentially. Cause like I, these, I want, I was like, I'll rewrite these. I really don't need to, but these were on like two to three, all these series were on two to three different, um, Moterm inserts, which I'm calling them Moterm inserts, but they're not Moterm brand. It's just the inserts that Moterm throws in theirs that they give you. I just hate them. So I put all of the series that I had on those pages on this one sheet. Like it was like two to three pages and I could condense it down into one. So um, I still kept some notes in here that I like to look at along with the movie shows and podcasts um, lists that I have here. And then at the back, I have the journaling, but I've taken out a lot because I'm not using it as much, which is actually kind of a good thing in my eyes. I don't reference this section unless I'm having a very bad day usually. So that's something to note. I do have the therapy notes in here as well as um, behind this Phenomenal Woman poem by Maya Angelou, I have the um, contact information of like people, if I, for some reason, end up in a spot where I have, I don't have my phone, I have no service, like contact information of the people I would want to contact. Uh, and then I also have my cycle tracker here. I put this uh, insert or dashboard that I made it back here. And then last but not least, I have the notes section, which I did move my YouTube tracker back here. Um, it just doesn't feel like it fits in the reading section. So I have that and I've not updated that, obviously. I'm never on, I'm never up to date on this thing. And then the rest is just blank notes pages. I didn't redo this because I don't feel like it. It's on Tomoe River paper. It doesn't fall out, even though the holes are atrocious, but I don't care. Um, this, same thing. Like, it doesn't fall out. I don't feel like rewriting it because I wrote it really quickly. And it was just like, it was one of those things where I want to get it out of my brain so I don't forget it. Um, so I wrote that down. Uh, same with this, like, it's just me thinking out space in my front room of my home. So I kept that. And then I just have all the notes pages that I purchased from that bundle of Plan With B. And the back, I did insert this Filofax top loading folder. Um, I may need to use it. I don't know. And then I have this envelope from the Shine Sticker Studio subscription kit. I have this dashboard from Plain With B as well as the cash envelope thing that just holds all my stamps, business cards, things like that. And then at the back, I do have my um, COVID vaccination card, voter registration, and um, you know, if for some reason I'm pulled over and I don't have service, I have my printout of my car insurance information though I normally just access it on my phone if I need to and that is where we're at I feel a lot better about this now I feel like it needed to be done um it just needed a good clean out or like a good reorganization a spring refresh is what I'm calling it so if you have any questions about any of the inserts that you saw feel free to comment down below I Definitely connect anyone and everyone who asks with the direct link of whatever insert it is. Um, and so you don't have to shop around if you just ask. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for spending a bunch of time with me today. And I hope you'll consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And I hope you'll consider liking this video um, to help my channel grow. And I will see you for the Hobonichi Play With Me here soon. Bye!